call the I don't even call the I was interested in Zen when I was pretty young and didn't know it at the time. Kind of discovered it when I was in my 20s. Met my first Zen teacher when I was, uh, I guess, in my late 20s. And just started practicing Zen. I really took to it. It was something that I loved and it was like a way of finding meaning in life. But in the meantime, I had a bunch of other careers. This whole thing about living your life is an improvisation. I learned really early on playing jazz as a musician and uh, we were involved in a dance and music uh, improvisational theater group. I, I got interested in psychology when I was in my 30s and got a degree in psychology and ended up be having a private practice. And meanwhile I was just keeping this through line in Zen and uh, met my current teacher who gave me permission to teach and uh, gave me what we call in Zen transmission, which means that I'm an official Zen teacher. And three years ago, we discovered this property and th decided that we needed a, a, a Zen temple in Worcester, Massachusetts. We really needed that. So we have a wonderful uh, group of people who come and sit with us here. And there's a broader group all, all over New England. There's a lot of people in Providence and in Boston, Western Mass, Connecticut, who practice with us and work called Boundless Way Zen. For me, my father was a Presbyterian minister. Uh, and when I was in college, I was very, um, uh, grew very passionate about trying to discover what the meaning of life is, uh, and uh, searched first in the traditional Christianity and couldn't find what I wanted. And then uh, Melissa and I actually were together and heard uh, this Zen teacher who was a Canadian man, Richard Clark. Um, and we both heard him and he spoke some kind of truth. Uh, about what it means to be human being, a human being, and what's possible for human beings. Uh, so uh, our story is that Melissa immediately knew, and she bought the set of cushions and wanted to go on the retreat the next day. And I, I knew, but the idea of sitting still for a whole day filled me with terror. Uh, so I started two minutes a day was uh, how I started meditating. That was about as long as I could sit still without going crazy. In 1991, started studying with George Bowman, uh, who is a, a Zen master, and have studied with him since and uh, received permission to teach from him uh, the full uh, formal permission last spring. Yeah, it was when the, the culmination. So uh, only 20 years <laughs> of well, intensive study. I would say 30 years. Really. Yeah, 30 years, yeah. When, and the, one of the cool things is that my teacher, James Ford, who um, lives in Providence, Rhode Island. And David and I formed this group together called Boundless Way. So it's a multi-teacher group, and, and we're very creative. There's something going on here where different lineage traditions have merged together into something new. Uh, we will give a Dharma talk together. Oh, right. Usually, usually it's a solo act, uh, and we do it together Well, where one person will start uh, and then uh, pass the baton to the next person and they continue and then the third person. Uh, so there's, you never know what the person before you is going to say and uh, how to continue that theme but add something new to it. So uh, something we really enjoy. Well, and, you know, we both play jazz, so we read charts. And the, the, um, there's a, a, a kind of a range around giving a talk, Dharma talks or inspirational talks about Zen. Uh, where you could write out every single word and read it. So it would be more like a sermon. Or you could just see what comes forth. And what we've decided, it's a little bit more like using a jazz chart. So we, we, have, we, we agree we're going to talk about this story or this text. And then we say, you're going to start. It's like, you know, who's going to take the solos? And then we go. We surprise ourselves with what we say and what comes out of our mouths. There's a, yeah, so there, there's a lot of ways that improvisation is part of our practice in balanced ways now.